Hello, my name is Dr. Doris Wright Carroll, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Special Education, Counseling, and Student Affairs at Kansas State. I have been here in this faculty appointment and faculty position for about 15 years. I got an interest in counseling and education, psychology. Many years ago, when I was a teenager in Topeka, Kansas, I went to school with children who were the sons and daughters of physicians and psychiatrists who worked at several of the mental health centers there. I think it was in the community, just the spirit, the willingness and the desire and the interest that was talked about in the community of, of changing lives through helping them understand how individuals grow and develop and thrive. Because I came out of a counseling background, it was just clear that my practice work, the teaching work, would inform my research and vice versa. It's not accident that the research that I've done over the years has had to do with elements of diversity, equity, promoting inclusion, and then my current project involves understanding microaggressions as they occur in online communication in some of our online courses. Microaggressions are everyday communications that are intended, or maybe not intended, to denigrate, snub, offend a targeted group. And it is a labor-intensive project to download conversation and then upload it in another qualitative software format for examination. And I'm sort of in the middle of that process as we speak. No other social media is involved. This is, has been only my classroom communication in a learning management, in a secured learning management system over the last five years. I'm particularly looking for language that informs me about the occurrence of microaggressions. I've had students all over the continental U.S., global students, five continents that I have counted at last report, active duty military, military dependents that have been in my class. So it is a global classroom. I will be using qualitative methodology, particularly that focusing on communication to examine that. And when it is finished, I need to share that back with my colleagues in the community. I have a Tilford grant right now to develop a training module that would be used for faculty, for faculty development or for staff, for staff development. I would want it to be used in that way so that we can make certain that our students are coming onto a campus with a clear and open communication so that they can learn all they need.